Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Azure Perfume Quick Start series. Today, I would like to show you how to work with the data assets and uh, give you a quick data catalog intro. So let's head over to the demo environment. Last time, we've um, added some scan processes and we initiated some scans to get more information out of the source systems. In our case, we've defined two source systems, which is one SQL database and another one is an Azure SQL database storage. Those two sources have been uh, provided with scan definitions, including scan uh, result sets and everything like that. And all those scans, well, they returned assets discovered plus assets classified. And now we would like to have a look at what is actually in our data catalog, in our data map, in our Perfue data map. Um, there are many ways to get to the data assets. And as I said, a data asset is a piece of information within our data landscape. So Perfue scans, for example, a database and one data asset is a database table. That database table has some columns assigned and those columns can have some properties. And we can start our journey with the browse assets button. So we can start and get a look at our data that is there in our data map. By default, well, there are two ways how we can approach our data catalog. It's the by collection approach, which allows us to select one of those collections. They can be in a hierarchy and we can grab one of those collection and have a look at the assets that are there. So let's start and head over to the database over here. And what do we get? is a list of assets within that um, database. In the result list, well, there are seven results found there. We've got SQL tables, we've got SQL views, we've got a schema, we've got a database, plus we've got an Azure SQL server. And uh, that is one of the main pieces you have to remember. A data asset can be a table or a view or a schema a database server, a database. So those are all uh, connected. So if I select the database, for example, what do we see? It's the collection path. Well, that's obvious. Plus there's a hierarchy over here, the database server, the database. And we can have a look at the related tab. With the related tab, well, there's one schema in our database and there are some entities over here, some assets, a table, a few. And if I use those hyperlinks, well, everything is connected within the data map. So I'm gonna have a look at the central customers list, open that one. And I'm here at the central customer list, change to the overview. And as you can see, the hierarchy is over here, plus some more information about the data asset, the database table, um, a description. There is no description added. We can add a description and we will do that later on. There are no classifications, but there is a schema classification applied, which means Perfue found some data pattern and applied that data pattern during the scan or after the technical scan, like schema uh, classification for email address. So we can have a look at the schema of the table and the column of contact, well, has been assigned the classification of email address. We can have a look at the definition of the contact column, and we can have a look at the properties over here, some technical uh, properties, and the table, well, it's connected again. So we can move back to the table itself. Properties on the one side of the table, we've got some creation, modification date, and so on and so forth. Contacts, that is a piece where Perfue can't help you automatically because Perfue doesn't know who is the expert, who is the owner of a specific table. And we can add and edit that information. For example, we can add over to the edit button over here and change into the edit mode of our Perfue data asset. We can add, for example, that in my case, I'm the 
technical expert for the table and uh, I'm the owner of that table too. So I can add the list over here and add those experts. Um, that is one part where we can browse the assets that are there in a specific collection. We can also start by browsing our assets using the source type. So there are different pieces of, of source uh, types in there. Maybe you remember we've added a scan for a SQL database, Azure SQL database and a data lake storage account. But what is added in the background? Well, there is a source type of Azure SQL Server and a source type of Azure storage account over here. But if you head over to the data lake, for example, what do you see? It's one uh, storage account. We've got three containers in here. And if we open that, we get the information of uh, samples. We get the information of folder structures. We get the information of all those files that are in there. And we can open a file, for example, and uh, have a look at the schema over here. Or we head over and head back to the source type the storage account, well, um, sorry, head over here, collection, data lakes. And what we can see, we've got the list, the list of 38 uh, results found in the data catalog. And those results, they can be filtered. And filtered can be based on the source type. For example, I only want to have a look at the data lake storage account files over here. I only want to have a look at um, a specific content type or whatever. Or there's the classification. And that is really, really powerful if you want to filter your content. Well, you can use the filter for classifications. In my case, I want to have a look at those entities that contain a person's name and or an email address. And what do we see? Well, we see we've got some files that contain some schema classification like an email address. Look, it's the contact uh, column of a CSV file stored in a data link. And that is those two ways how you can access your data assets in your data catalog. But the data catalog, well, should be searchable. And there's a search your data catalog option over here. And we can start and search for customer, for example. And what we get is a list of data assets. It doesn't matter as a first start which source system. So source system data lake, plus SQL Server, uh, Azure SQL Database. It doesn't matter which collection because we've started at the root level of our data catalog. And remember, there can be different permissions at the different levels of your collections. And it really depends where your permissions are assigned to have a different uh, set of results over here. And we can filter, for example, we want to have a look at the data lakes collection. We can filter for the classification plus the additional information I've applied for one of those entities, like I'm the contact. Well, it was the central customers list. And that is also a way to filter the information that was either scanned and applied by Purview automatically or that were added through an added um, action from a data steward like I did in my demo. And that was the first quick demo through the data catalog. It was the first quick demo through the data assets. And with that, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them down under the video. Happy data cataloging and see you next time.